We believe that videos, images, words, and sounds have the absolute power to inform, inspire, and entertain. We reject indecision, confusion, and vanity, for they work against the community. We are united under the virtues of safety and knowledge. We are a training community of learners and teachers who encourage and energize each other to achieve greatness. We are pilots, videographers, photographers, freelancers, business owners, enthusiasts, experts, and apprentices. We are creators. We are the Drone You. Hey guys, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob, and you're listening to episode number 342. Thank you for being with us. And don't forget, we're doing a contest right now. For those that get questions in from uh, from episodes 301 to 350 for a free membership, we're going to do a drawing. Wow. So get your questions in. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I'd do it. Lots of value there with all the classes that are getting uploaded right now, man. Absolutely. So let me ask you a question, Rob. Please. Do you have any friends who don't have the full capability? They live life a little bit more difficult, or their life is a little bit more difficult to live than the average person. Yeah, definitely. They may still have their full mental capability. They're still healthy, but they lost a leg in battle, or they served our country and can't walk anymore. Do you have any friends like that? I do know some people like that. Yeah. And you really pull for them. You want to help them. You want to make sure that the sort of structure of society allows for them to be successful and anything that we can do to be a part of that is a really good thing. And support them, right? Absolutely. Exactly. And a great way for those type of people to enjoy new things is to fly a drone like a phantom. It's a way for them to escape and truly enjoy the freedom of flight. I was just going to say, what do you say? Freedom of flight. Yeah. (laughs) But you said it. Yeah. Anyways, that's exactly right. And I think that there's just so much it's so much fun and it's just freeing and it's uh there's a lot of joy that comes from flying you can go to really cool places and fly and so let me ask you a question do you think those people should be able to fly drones commercially absolutely well then why can't they do it right now well because they need a pilot's license they supposedly need a 333 which more importantly means they need a pilot's license (laughs) which means they're out of luck which means, That's too bad. It really is too bad. But I think this very conversation of if I'm disabled, can I still fly a drone commercially is a phenomenal conversation because it's going to make the FAA think about uh, just the whole entire idea of a pilot's license. And I know that 107 does not require one, and I think that's going to be a major step for mm-hmm. those uh, who would not normally qualify for a pilot's license. Um, and I think that's a major step forward. But today's Absolutely. question is from one of our friends, and he asks, you know, are there any ways or any options that I can get around the pilot's license and still fly? And guess what? There is. Today's question is brought to you by... Are you a drone pilot? Are you operating under a Section 353 exemption? Then you may be familiar with Item 27, which requires you to get a property release for every flight over property. Legal Flyer is an app for iPhone and iPad that helps you create professional property releases in less time than it takes to do a pre-flight check. You can add your pilot info, you can sign in, hand it to the property owner for their signature. But wait a second. Legal Flyer's advanced integration automatically adds latitude, longitude, and even altitude. Then add a panorama straight from the app. Everything drops into a single page PDF you can share with a single tap. It's compliance at light speed. Visit LegalFlyer.com for more information or get it straight from the App Store. Legal Flyer, property releases for professional drone pilots. My name is Michael. I'm 58 years old. I have health problems to keep me from getting my pilot's license to get a 333. Is there anything I can do still to get that or should I stay under the radar and just keep doing things the way I'm doing? Yeah, so Michael, thank you for the question. It is a really good one. It's very thought provoking and I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't heard it by now. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that we have and I'm glad you had the courage to call in and, and leave your question for us. Because it is, it's a it's a real issue. And as far as we're concerned, there's just no reason why and, and obviously we don't know what your medical issues are and, and certainly that's a 
an important factor. Yeah. But assuming that there's not any hindrances to you flying, we just can't think of a reason why you shouldn't be able to fly commercially. I agree. But I actually have been talking to Jonathan Rupert, uh, who we found a little loophole. Okay. We found, I, we found an incredibly amazing loophole. Um, and it's something that we're going to be taking advantage here at DroneU. Uh, and I'm not going to say how because I don't want to give it away. But for those of you who have served our country, for those of you uh, maybe who haven't served but you've still you know, had a significant disability because of an activity like surfing, um, my great-grandfather actually uh, was surfing in California and mm. broke his neck and was in a wheelchair for about 20 years. Um, and watching him grow up with the grandkids, it was very interesting. And he pulled through. He was very strong. But there is hope. There is a way for you to fly commercially even if you are disabled, even if you are, uh, and, I, and, I, and I don't want to seem insensitive at all because I, I really truly feel for many of the individuals out there who have sacrificed everything and, you know, ha- have really come back um, not 100%. Right. And it's just, you know, it's kind of sad, but guess what? I've got hope for you guys. Um, if let's say you can't qualify for the pilot's license because of a physical disability, um, such as, you know, you, you've lost a leg or you are confined to a wheelchair, there is hope. Here it is. So most public entities, say public government, state governments need to fly drones. We're hearing about more and more state governments Mm -hmm. flying drones for mining reclamation, for mapping, topography, orthomosaics, lots of stuff. And even probably things, chambers of commerce, I mean... Exactly, yeah. Just touting the cities, that's a big thing, obviously, trying to get tourists to come to your city. There's things like that that can be done as well. Yeah, well, so the process for th- those that group of people, um, the, say, state governments and whatnot, uh, th- their process is a little bit different than this traditional 333. Right. Because guess what? Those traditional governments have to normally get a COA, a Certificate of Authorization, And guess what? The people who fly under that COA do not need a pilot's license. So if you assist your local city or state government in acquiring a COA and then they hire you to do the work, guess what? You don't need a pilot's license. Now, let me just clarify that. You don't have to be the one that assisted them in getting the COA to be able to fly under their COA. No, that's just kind of like the, uh, hey, I'll scratch my back if right. you, you know. Yeah, scratch, I understand. I'll scratch your back if you scratch my back. But ultimately, once <laughs> they have, yes, <laughs> thank you. Once they have the COA, they can choose any pilot that they have vetted to be a decent or a good pilot to fly for them. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. Yeah. So your way um, is by working with state governments, county governments, local governments. Uh, in fact, I screenshotted a couple things last night because I was talking to John about this last night, and then I saw this question this morning. And I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So um, let's see. Where was it? Um, all right. Here it is. I got the law right here. Uh, public aircraft. So... The mm, rating requirements for UAS PIC depend on the type of operation conducted. They fall into two categories, operations that require an FAA-issued pilot certificate or operations that do not require an FAA-issued pilot certificate. Uh, Subsection 4, the PIC must hold at a minimum an FAA-issued pilot certificate for all operations listed below with the exception of operations conducted in ordinance with public aircraft statute as promulgated in 49 U.S.C. 40102A, Part 41. Part 41 states, public aircraft means anything of the following, except with respect to aircraft described in subparagraph E, an aircraft used only for the United States government, such as a provided in subsection 40125B. B is an aircraft owned by the government and operated by any person for purposes related to crew training, equipment development, demonstration, um, or an aircraft owned and operated by the government of a state, the District, the District of Columbia, or a territory or possession of the United States or a political subdivision of one of the governments. Uh, except as provided in subsection B, which I just read. So I clarified this with John because I didn't see kind of the information I was looking in there. Um, And I texted him last night. Let me go into it. And I said, so just to clarify, if I get the city, ACOA, 
and then ask them to hire me in, in return, I wouldn't need a PPL. And I w- and then I said, or what if you worked for the FBI? Because I think that would be really cool. Um, a lot of people don't know this. I have my degree in criminology, um, and I wanted to work for the feds for a while and then kind of mm-hmm. changed my mind, did an internship, changed my mind. Um, but I think it would be really cool, you know, if the FBI were like, hey, Paul, we've got an issue you know, can you come help us? Because I've right. helped, I've helped local law enforcement all over the country with mm-hmm. stuff, and that would just seem like such an honor. Um, but and I asked him, so John, if I get the city of Coa and they hire me in return, would I need a PPL? Uh, and he said no. Yeah, so, yeah, because on, honestly, reading the the legalese from the ordinances and so forth is just mind boggling as to what they're actually saying. <laughs> but the fact that John's saying that actually makes me feel good. Right? Yeah, yeah, I had to get clarification on that because what you see on Facebook, and we even know now from, uh, and this is why I love Anonymous, we even know now that the Facebook trending is all hand-picked. It's not actually trending, and they proved that Facebook was pushing Democratic posts, not Republican posts, the entire last 18 months, and it's just like, okay, and my fascination for Facebook has started dwindling even more. So you you can't be biased with the news. Yeah, but it's a wave you can't stop, so... Well, I think it. I think the people though don't want to be spoon-fed news. So, um, and if they only knew, yeah, that's the thing. (laughs) Curse of knowledge. That's right. Anyway, so um, for Michael, I hope you have hope, man. Um, If you want more details on how to do this, I would really recommend working with John Rupert. Shameless plug, John. So I hope you're listening to episode 342. Uh, But anyway, guys, you can do it. There's a lot you can do. One of my favorite things that I want to get into, by the way, is crime scene mapping. You know, because they close the highway down when there's an accident and they measure stuff to see, okay, how long, how fast was he going based on how long the skid was. You know, that takes hours. With a drone, it would take minutes. So that's one perfect example of the type of situation you could do. That'd be a fantastic way to help and and to get involved and to be able to fly, Michael. But one of the things I want to mention, we've talked in the past about getting involved and speaking your mind, letting people know what you think about the rules as they supposedly stand versus where we want them to go. Michael would be a great advocate for the kind of rules that we're talking about needing, calling his congressman, calling his local representatives and getting them on board as to what his issue is here and how he is essentially handcuffed. Yeah. Until 107 comes out, assuming that it benefits him with its final ruling or the, the way that it finally looks. So get involved, call your folk, call your local congressman and uh, let them know the situation that you're in and, and what you need to happen. Yeah. I will say, too, when I went to International Drone Day last year, I didn't really partake this year because it was Sarah's birthday and the weather was awful. Um, but... Uh, last year, there were a couple Army veterans who were flying, and mm-hmm. they're like, I can't tell you the emotional gratification I've had since I've started flying. Mm-hmm. And that is just so empowering. I mean, so empowering. We, we did a Veterans Day video in Texas two, three years ago before th- there were any drone rules. And um, even when he got to fly, it was just like, ah, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. It is truly an emotional release. And... For people who have risked everything to, to support people like you and I, we have got to give back some way, and I think that is the best way to give back. Absolutely. So, anyway, it. I, it's close to my heart. I've had a lot of friends pass away uh, in the Middle East, um, so it's, it's kind of a um, close-to-the-chest subject for me. Anyway, on that news, guys, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You. We believe that videos, images, words, and sound have the absolute power to inform, inspire, and entertain. We reject indecision, confusion, and vanity, for they work against the community. We are united under the virtues of safety and knowledge. We are a training community of learners and teachers who encourage and energize each other to achieve greatness. We are pilots, videographers, photographers, freelancers, business owners, enthusiasts, experts, and apprentices. We are creators. We are the Drone Youth.